Hey gamers, it's Kristen, and I have a Becca try on video for you guys. I have. Sorry. I mean, it's gonna be like this. It just is what it is. The windows are open. It's spring, almost, well, pretty much summer, and we only get a few months of the year when we can have our windows open. <laughs> so, you know, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Okay, so I. <laughs> Sorry for that little sidebar. I had um, asked in one, in two of my most, most re recent videos if you guys wanted to see a try on with these glosses and you absolutely did. The was a resounding yes. So I'm going to go ahead and try on the Becca Glow Glosses for you. Do a little lip swatch. Um, so I currently have nothing on my lips and I think that I'm gonna try to do kind of lightest to darkest, something like that. I don't know that it will matter as much as you know, like a lipstick because it's glossed and it does wipe off fairly easily. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get started. And I'm going to wipe off the, the, I just have a, like I said, a clear on right now. So this is Opal. And I thought I would do some footage of me applying it so you can see what my lips kind of look like before and after. And then I'll give my full review of them at the end. So this one again is Opal. This one is rose quartz. It's probably a little bit lighter. It's it's about the same, but my point being, I probably could have started with this one. I love this wand, by the way. So this is rose quartz. This is champagne cream. Again, that's champagne cream. This is rose gold. That's what happens when I talk and apply lip products. Okay, that again, that is rose, nope, champagne cream. This one is Camilla. It's just such a pretty pink. <laughs> so again, this is Camilla. This one is Snapdragon. These just apply so nicely. Nothing patchy. Snapdragon. This one is Tiger Lily. You've seen me wearing this one in a couple videos. So pretty. So again, this is Tiger Lily. This one is Foxglove. I was forced to get up and shut the window because the school near us is doing their morning announcements. You know, school's not out yet. Not in Wisconsin, anyway. This one I feel like doesn't show up on my lips quite as much because it's very similar to my lip, the pigment in my lip. But anyway, so this is Foxglove. And I would say, in general, Foxglove, as far as the pigment payoff, performs the it's still nice, but it is not as good as the rest of them, in my opinion. It's probably the only one that I'm kind of like, meh. It's not quite as fantastic. This one is Dahlia. This is so pretty. Look at that. So this is Dahlia. And lastly, the darkest is Chocolate Geode. Not a color I would reach for regularly, but I think it'll be fun to pair with different things, different liners and that sort of thing in the fall. It has a really pretty shift to it. And then, so this is Chocolate Geode. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I really like these. These are, I, I had them in a favorites. I, I just, I love, the, the texture, I find, find them to be very smooth. They are not as sticky as some glosses. They are just smooth. 
you don't get that kind of by the way, the one that I put on is Snapdragon, in case you're curious. Um, they don't get that kind of the lines between them. Um, another newer gloss that I've tried recently, I'm just going to grab one of them here to show you, is the Urban Decay High Shine. I feel like they have the same kind of shine as the Urban Decay. I like the applicator far better. This The Urban Decay applicator is it's kind of wiggly like this. And I, I don't know. These are very sticky. I think the Urban Decay ones are super sticky. I like them and they last a long time. Longevity wise, actually, these the, the Becca glosses last a long time, but the Urban Decay ones do seem to have a little bit more longevity, probably because they are stickier. You know what I mean? Kind of makes sense. But so the Becca glosses sell for $22 and they sell, I'm sure on Becca's website as well as Sephora, they... Are, oh, I, was, I looked up the ounces. Let me just double check. 0.18 ounces or five grams of product. People are always curious about that. And I give them two thumbs up. I, I am so happy with these. Now, these were sent to me. I should have started with that. I apologize. They were sent to me. I said that when I talked about it in my both the favorites and, and the haul. But that doesn't, all they do is send us product. They don't, they, I don't have any contract with Becca that says I have to say anything nice about them. And I fully believe that if I didn't like a product, they would still send me product. I didn't like their the foundation. I talked about that. So anyway, um, I, I'm a big fan of these. I will be wearing these all summer long. For me, this is a summer lip. It's easy. I can throw it on. It wears away nicely. It's not high maintenance. I just love that it's not going to melt when I say throw one around. It's not going to melt when I stick it in my pocket, you know what I'm saying, for going in somewhere or whatever. Um, I'm a big fan of these. Love them a lot. So hopefully the lip swatch was helpful for you. The ones that I have mo worn the more, most are Tiger Lily and um, Snapdragon and then Opal. Those were the, now let me pull those out and show you. So these are the three that I have worn the most. And when I traveled, when I w was traveling the past couple weeks, these are the three that I grabbed to take with me. But Big fan of the formula. I think you guys would like that. Like them. Give one of them a try, and I think they'd be fun to mix with. You know, mix together, play with over lip liners, over lipsticks. I just think they're good. They're a really good versatile product on their own or over something. All right. So there you go. If you're curious, what's on the rest of my face? I'm still working through the Rouge Bunny Rouge Foundation for blush today. I have the. <laughs> I'm like a broken record. The Benefit Rocketeur. I actually was just trying to do a really easy face that wouldn't distract from the lips in case you're curious. On my eyelids, I have the L'Oreal Infallible and Ice Latte. And then actually I used the, <laughs> didn't plan that. The Becca, this is a longtime favorite of mine, the Ombre Nudes palette, the original one, just the, the cooler tones. So, all right, I think that that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and everything that you do and say, be beautiful. Bye.